We're in the collar and sleeve, okay? Great position to be in, but Edgar starts to walk his feet in, right? Boom, boom, boom. And he starts to kind of drive up, right? So he's posturing really heavy right here. And there is kind of still stuff you can do. Sometimes you can push him back at the hip, get him to bend and start attacking. But if they have a really good base, right? And I'm just not able to do anything, their legs are open, right? So now I'm probably gonna stop focusing so much on the upper body and start looking at the lower body, right? So when we do this, he's posturing up. I'm gonna keep the foot on the hip. I'm gonna shrimp out just a little bit to point my knee to the inside. Keep the foot on the hip though. Now this free foot is gonna come off of the bicep and it's gonna scoop right underneath this knee right there. What I'm gonna do is use this knee to go under. So once I have those two things set, this knee goes under, so my hips come out underneath and I'm gonna pull him in with my knee. Once he's close right there, I just lift up. So I'm using my feet to kind of lift him up a tad so I can get my underhook. Keep the collar grip and I'll go underneath and I'm wrapping around and grabbing his knee right there. A little detail is to keep this elbow flared out. Try not to let this happen, because then he can start bringing that foot down my shoulder, yep, and it'll take away a lot of leverage in the position. So I'm keeping this elbow flared out, and I'm reaching all the way around that knee right there for my entry, okay? Now, once we get in here, so this is not, this is X guard, but it's not traditional X guard. This is what I call new X guard, right, or X guard 2.0, where the foot is not on this side, all right? The reason that I kind of stopped using this type of X guard is because right now, if he drops his knee down, if I lose control, I do not have anything to stop him from smashing me here with this leg and then execute the pass, right? So I'll keep this knee controlled, but I'm keeping my foot right there on that hip. So that's why it works well from the collar and sleeve is because I'm able to just rotate that knee to the inside and I don't have to move this down to there, right? And you'll feel the difference when you do it. There's a lot more control here. This is also good because if he does start to pressure, like start bring, start coming down, Edgar, like you're trying to, yeah, here, right? So as he starts squatting low, instead of my leg being over here, where there's nothing strong about like that scissor lift, when my foot's here, I can kick up and create a lot of space, right? So you'll feel that. You'll go from here, boom, and then here, make the, make the adjustment, and then just feel how I can lift him up easily, because now I'm using it almost like a leg press. I'm using the palm of my foot to lift him up. Right? So we're in the position here, boom, I still have my collar grip here, all right? I'll lift him up and I'll grab the pants, okay? So the reason I like to lift him up is because of that right there. I want him to post his hands. I want to put him off balance for a second. So I might even pull the collar and lift, and then boom, look, they have to post. If they don't, they're just going to face plant. Once their hands are posted on the ground, that's when I'm making the switch to the pants grip on the far side. And I'm just grabbing a pocket grip right there. Now, what's Edgar's next reaction gonna be? What would you naturally do right here, Edgar? Exactly, he's gonna wanna stand up. Once he stands up, I'm gonna take my knee and try and bring it to the palm of my foot. So I hold on to my grips, but I'm gonna take this knee, drive it into here, boom, and get my sweep. Once he hits the ground, right? I'm here, I make that little grip on the pants, my heel comes back, I kick so that this can swim. Immediately I drive in, I'm not going this way. Straight to here. I'm driving straight in. So as I lift and kick this up, this swims under. I'm driving my chest into his hamstring. I'm going thumb in. I'll sprawl. Then I can let this go. Once I have that thumb in grip, I keep my elbow tight. Reach back, grab the pants or the belt, whatever's there. Stack him. I'm not turning away from him. I'm keeping all the pressure on top of my hand. And then to finish the pass, all I do is walk. I puff my chest out and go here. I don't need to throw him around. I let the pressure of my body weight and gravity do the work for me right there.